Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Drone Tech. Sorry for the lack of content over the last week. It took me a while to get over whatever I had, but I'm feeling much better now. So last week, former what? police officer Kim Potter was sentenced to two years for accidentally shooting and killing black motorist Dante Wright during a traffic stop. As always, the details here are important. And as always, the ghouls over at MSNBC aren't a bit interested in any of those details. They're much more interested on dividing the country using lies delivered with a flamethrower. Not to mention putting the same of an Asian judge in jeopardy using racial conspiracy theories. Before we get into this bloated Hitler hate fest, give me just a minute to tell you about this free coin offer for my viewers. Man, this year is whizzing by already, isn't it? You're a year closer to retirement, but are your savings a year closer? Lots of us have woken up and smelt the roses, and some of us have smelt the coffee instead. All of us have realized how quickly time's rushing past. With crypto and the markets risky right now and inflation running over 8%, where are you gonna put away your money to keep up? and beat it. If you're not and you're worried you won't make it, get in touch with Noble Gold about putting precious metals in your IRA or 401k. You won't get hassled, they'll just lay out your options. And this month, they're gifting a free 1 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualifying plan you start. So call 877-646-5347 or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you can use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure you tell them Drone Tech sent you. Joy, this country hates us. This country hates black people and we know it. We talk about it, we joke about it. We know, we know what we're up against. But sometimes that hatred that this country has for us really comes out and just takes your breath away, just grabs you by the neck and just takes your breath away. And today, Judge Regina Chu was that hatred, that icy hatred around our throat. She was the spit in our face today. Pretty crazy considering that anti-Asian hate crimes are up and a majority of the time committed by black Americans, which the media is all too willing to cover up. The articles that you can find are all trying to deflect from that fact and actually trying to blame white supremacy for black on Asian violence. So this bloated sausage casings reasoning for accusing this Asian judge of being a racist and that America hates black people is the relatively light sensing of this Officer. Now let's watch these two dig their hole even deeper. To have the unmitigated gall to stand up there, sit up there in her courtroom and plead, cry out for sympathy for the killer in front of that boy's mother. I, I don't have words to describe how offensive that is, how hurtful that is. Why did she get two years? Somebody needs to answer me why she got two years. And of course, we all know why she got two years. Yeah. Because she was I a mean, crying white. That's why she got two years. And I would encourage others to remember. And I would encourage others to reject Judge Chu and instead think about Dante Wright. Unbelievable. Do you think that either of these two consider their attack on this judge to be an attack on democracy or an incitement to violence? One of their own literally just tried to assassinate a Jewish candidate for mayor who was immediately bailed out by leftists like the creator of Hamilton and the guy that made this assassination attempt was definitely in the same lane as gay Don King here. So what he's doing should definitely be considered an incitement to violence. He doesn't like the sentencing so he's just baselessly claiming that this judge is a racist who's quote spitting in in the face of black America. And like I said, he's doing this by just ignoring all the inconvenient details, which is what they always do and always end up inciting riots from Michael Brown to Jacob Blake, both cases where the media ignored or just made up details, which led to riots. According to this demon faced tub of lard, the reason that she only got two years is because she's a crying white woman, not because she has no prior record, not because this was in fact an accident, albeit one that she should pay a price for. Not because Dante Wright himself was a scumbag who was being civilly sued for shooting a 16 year old in the head, leaving him paralyzed. Not because Dante Wright himself tried to speed away in a car while he was being lawfully stopped, which by the way, was because the car's owner had warrants. Not because of an air freshener like the Democrat state media likes to claim. She didn't get a light sentence because of any of this. It was because of a racist conspiracy and because she's a white woman who cried. You know, I mean, there, there, there's a guy 
guy named Mohammed Noor, a former police officer, um, I believe in the same state, that was um, got 12 and a half years for accidentally, uh, you know, firing his weapon and killing a woman. She was a white woman from Australia. He's doing 12 and a half years for that. Wrong, wrong, wrong. As usual, these MSNBC propagandists aren't giving the full story. In reality, that officer's conviction was overturned and the sentence reduced to four years. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, that's still two more years than the crying white woman, but the actual details of these two cases are very different. For one, the white woman who was shot by the black officer was unarmed and just walking up to him to ask for help. She wasn't being lawfully stopped. She wasn't being arrested. She was literally an innocent person just asking for help. Dante Wright, on the other hand, was trying to flee in his vehicle after being lawfully stopped which directly led to the circumstances of the officer mistaking her gun for a taser. Personally, I think using the gun in that situation is completely legitimate because he's turning that car into a deadly weapon that could hurt the officers or innocent people. In any case, two very different situations, but completely mischaracterized and deceitfully reported by two extremists pretending to be credible news reporters. Hopefully, these two haven't now inspired somebody to take action against that judge or some innocent white woman. But unfortunately, even if they do, we will never even hear about it. If you're wondering, this segment was actually sponsored by Sleep Number. Don't spend your money on people that hate you and literally want harm to come to you. All right, that's all I have for this one. As always, if you want to help this channel and get this video to spread, hit that like button. Then leave a comment to let us all know what you think.